Hello students, welcome back to my channel, Mind Your Exam. So in this video, we would be studying about the difference between arguments and parameters. In the last two video, we started with what are functions, how do we define functions and the syntax of the function that involves the function header, the function body. And after that, we also saw how we can invoke or call a function so that we can execute the statements that are written in the definition of a function. Now, while defining a function and while calling a function, you must keep in mind two uh, names or uh, two, uh, 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 two types of values that are specified, which are the arguments and the parameters. So, we, we defined in the previous video also that while writing the function definition inside the function header, we specify certain values which can be used inside the function body and those values which are written in the function header are known as parameters, okay. So, the values that are now passed to the function inside the function called statement will be referred to as the arguments, okay. So, the values are not different from each other but the place where they occur gives rise to different names or different terminology uh, in terms of the python programming language or in any generic programming language so uh, the values that are passed or that are specified during a function call statement are arguments and the values that are specified in the function header while defining a function are called parameters, okay. So, a function that is specifying the parameters will only have the arguments in the corresponding arguments in its function call. So, a parameterized function is the function that has parameters in its function header and the function call of that, uh, uh, of that particular function will most probably include arguments in the calling statement and why do I say most probably we will see some exceptions which are default parameters or default values but uh, leaving that aside if you have specified parameters during the definition of a function you will have to specify arguments while calling that function okay. So, uh, for each parameter, there will have to be an argument during the function call, okay. And parameters and arguments are both values that are used during the function, uh, inside the function body so that some operations can be executed on them, okay, or performed on them. Now, we will see an example. In this example, we will have to write a program to find the square of a number and the number whose square we have to find will be passing it as a parameter. Okay. So, first here we have defined a function. We have used the def keyword in the function header. Then we have given the name of our function as square and then we have specified the round brackets and colon. Inside the round brackets, we have specified our parameter, which is the variable num, okay. So, we will use this variable num inside the function body and we will calculate the variable result, which is the square of this number. And in the last statement, we will be returning the calculated value to the function call statement. And how we will do that? We'll, uh, when we will call this particular function, we will save this returned value in a variable called result again and then we will print this value. Okay. So, in this particular case, what we are doing is we are having a variable called number in which we will be taking the user input. Okay. We will be asking the user to enter a number and we will convert it into an int. We are performing explicit type conversion here and we will store that user entered value in this variable. Okay, now we will pass this particular value, the number in the function call. So, this is the function call and uh, when we are calling the function, the square function, we are specifying this particular argument. Okay, 
Now this argument corresponds to the parameter that we specified during the function definition. Okay, so number is the argument and num was the parameter. But when the function call will be executed, the control will be transferred to the definition of the function and the value inside num would be the same value that is present in number. So, for example, the user enters the value 5, number variable will store the value 5. Then when I make this function call square in brackets number, this particular value will be saved or will be passed to the variable num. Now the argument has the value 5 which is number variable has the value 5 and the parameter num also has the value 5. So inside the function the result would be calculated as 5 into 5 which is 25 and this re result will be returned in this particular result variable which is specified on the left hand side of the function call. Okay, then we will print this result and this is the value that is returned by the function. So, we will get the output as 25. Now, one must remember that how uh, the values are being assigned internally. So, when we ask the user for uh, a value, the user entered the value 5 which was stored in the variable number and in the memory, uh, the Python interpreter created a location that was storing the value 5 or and named it the uh, and uh, the variable number was referring to or was pointing to that particular location that was storing the value 5. Now on executing the function call the argument as well as the parameter variables both point to the same memory location. This is a very very important concept that you must remember that both the argument and the parameter refer to the same value at the point when the function call has been executed and the, the control of the program has transferred to the function definition and the function has started executing. So at that very particular point before uh, any anything else uh, gets executed within the function body, the argument has a particular value and the same value is being pointed to by the parameter variable. Okay. Now two important points that you must keep in mind are that an argument and a parameter can have the same name. There is no restriction on giving separate names to uh, argument and a parameter. Also any type of value can be specified in the arguments and passed to the corresponding parameter. It can be a dictionary, any data type, it can be a string, integer, floating point tuple, list, anything, okay. So, there is no restriction on the data type of the arguments and hence their corresponding parameter values. Now, in the next video, I would be discussing how the change in parameter values gets affected in the arguments of that are passed to the function or does it not get affected what is the logic behind it? We'll clear this concept more. So stay tuned to our channel. Let us know how did you find this video. So till we meet in the next video, mind your exam. Thank you for watching.